Um. Mm. Once again, my stomach is freshly full. Oh. Hi, Connor. What brings you to Patrick's Pork Chops? I'm here investigating a very disturbing rumour. Very disturbing? What are you, like a health inspector now? Yes, I am, Joshy. And I am here investigating a very disturbing rumour. There's a rumour that Patrick has been serving his pork chops raw. Huh? Hmm, gee, I wonder how a rumour like that gets started. Who knows? Kids say crazy things these days. Uh-huh. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. The restaurant will be closed while we inspect it. Wait, what? Closed? Yes, and this poster will be going on your window. Warning pork chops may be raw? Hey, wait, th th this is this is it this is that big weekend. Y you can't put that up. Nobody will eat here. That's not my problem. Yeah, okay, well do your test, pal, because they are cooked fully. Sorry, the lab's closed till Monday, and Patrick will get his his test results back then. And if the test results come back with the steak being raw, then Patrick's restaurant will be closed, and he will be going to jail. Okay, well, do your test, mate, because I'm telling you this now, they are fully cooked. This is not good, Pack. This is not good. If Patrick closes his restaurant because of, of Mr. Hit my gas hob with a bat because I'm so intelligent, I'll never be able to have his delicious pork chops again. What am I going to do? I don't know. Grab a hot dog at Hugo's? You know how I feel about Hugo's hot dogs. You know full well how I feel about Hugo's hot dogs. So don't tell me to eat at Hugo's hot dogs. Connor is only doing this because he claims he should hit his gas hob with a bat because he thinks that would get it lit. I mean, he did have um, seriously serious anger problems at the time, Joshy. You shouldn't get mad at him for that. Oh, so I'm a liar, am I? That, that kid is going to be crazy when he grows up. Alright, I'm wearing a tux. I have to resort to wearing a tux to convince him. Connor! Connor! Open the door! Connor! Right. Oh, it's you. Now, we're right here. This is a quite a surprise, Joshy. I wasn't... Shut up! Just shut up, you idiot! Joshy, why have you shown up at my house? A angry like this. You know full well why I have shown up. Your restaurant is gone for a reason. You claim Patrick has, is serving raw meat to people when he is not. So, yeah, I'm pretty mad at you. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is that Patrick's pork chops could be serving raw meat to people. Do you really think he would be that savage? Huh? Hey, come back here, I'm not done confronting you. Do you really think he would be that savage? Well, I would hope he wouldn't, because then he'll be going to jail. Hey, wait a minute. What's all that stuff back there? You have a whole chemistry lab back there. Can't you do can't you do the test right now instead of ruining Patrick's big weekend? Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me how to do my job, Joshy. I don't tell Patrick how to give people salmonella. 
Come here! Uh, uh, put me down! Put me down! Put me down! Uh, uh, sorry. That... That just... That just happened out of nowhere. I'm sorry. That just happened out of nowhere. It's fine. I'm used to it. Accuse them all you want. You won't win. All you will do is be responsible for an innocent man going to jail. So, I've realised that this rumour probably hasn't been doing much favour for your business. And I'm, I'm really sorry that things have grown out of proportions. Connor is really messed up in the head. He's falsely accusing Patrick for serving raw meat to people when he literally smashed his gas hob with a bat in an attempt to get his gas hob working and his restaurant immediately burnt down as a result. So why punish Patrick for that? Do you know what, Joshy? I'm, I'm with you entirely. It doesn't make sense and I just don't know what to tell you. Hey, uh, Patrick, buddy. How you holding up in there, mate? Leave me alone! Oh, Patrick, I know you're upset, but we'll we'll get this all resolved. For sure we'll get it all resolved. Mm, what's the use? Joshy, it's Jakey. Hi, Jakey. I'm very, I'm very sorry that I told everyone that our pork chops were served raw and undercooked. Okay, thank you, J.K. That's good to hear. God, just Connor really gets me agitated. Yo, what's up, some and other people? I'm not loving raw steaks to my customers. You twisted old monster! Come here! Come here again! No, get away from me! Get him away from me! No, Joshy, Joshy, come and come and sit back down! Come and sit back down! Sorry. Sorry, sorry. That that just happened. That that just happened. It really did. It just happened. It just happened. You want to be on? I don't want to be honest. Whether my steak is raw or not, this is still a very good bang up restaurant. Well, I'm sitting down and I'm eating what could be my very last steak here at Patrick's Pork Chops. Hi. Ron? Hi. I have something for Patrick's wife. She's at the counter. Yes. Um. I've got something to say to you. Um. This envelope has a note in it that clearly states that there were no that the steaks served here aren't actually raw. We were able to expedite the test and we found 100% cooked steak meat. <gasps> and I'm just I'm just sorry it got blown out of of proportion. Yay! Just don't let him do that again, please. Well, lucky break, Patrick. You must be so happy. I'm relieved I didn't lose my restaurant, Joshy. Yay! Patrick's Pork Chops lives on! Now I can continue eating like a pig! Um, 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 um. 
Hey, uh, Joshy, can I eat with your mouth shut? Mm. Oh. Would you care not to bring bring food from other restaurants into Patrick's Pork Chops? I mean, who brings food from one restaurant and eats it in another? Who does that? Zing! Pack? No, I'm Phyllis. Oh, okay. Thank God. Then why does your shirt, why does your shirt say "Hi, my name is Phil"? Phyllis is short, is long for Phil. I suppose it is. I guess. <laughs>